Hi everybody, welcome to my second video, 10 minute upper body workout. Um, you will need this time, two lighter objects, one heavier object, and of course your timing device again. Each exercise, just like we did in the core smash, one minute exercise on, 30 second recovery, move, uh, move through them as we go. Okay, there'll be a five second countdown as we go into it, just like before. So we're going to start off with press ups, everyone's favourite. Okay. Okay. So back nice and flat onto your toes and you press up, chest to the floor, up and down. Nice controlled movement each time. If you find that's too tough, drop your knees, cross your feet, and still keeping that back nice and flat, up and down. If you need to regress even more, you can bring your knees in, bring yourself into a box press position, and bring your chest down to the floor each time. All the way down, as close as you can, getting your chest to the floor. If you still find press ups quite tough, you can slide to an object that's a little bit higher, and press from your knees, or your feet, into the press up position. I'm going to continue back on the floor for a bit with some half press just to get through the minute. Okay, second exercise. You'll need an object that's a little bit higher off the ground, be it a chair, bench, edge of your bed, bottom of your stairs, something like that. Position your hands into a tricep dip position, feet out nice and straight in front. Elbows tucked back behind you, and all you're going to do is you're going to work pushing your elbows up, nice lock out every single time. Okay. Make sure you keep it nice and smooth. Most important thing when you do this root movement is not to let your body just collapse to the floor, use it as a positive drive up and a negative drop back down. Positive up. Negative up or down. Notice keeping my elbows right behind me every single time, not swinging around to the sides, keeping it nice and controlled. Keep every rep focused, don't rush it. If you rush it, generally you find you lose your form and then the exercise is not, not as worth. And keep going all the way until you hear that klaxon. Almost there, last few seconds now. Excellent, okay, moving on. We're gonna to get to chest flies. You're gonna need your two lighter objects now. So grabbing your two light objects. I've got two light dumbbells. You're gonna lay yourself flat down on the floor and you some chest flies. So your arms are nice and all the way out, straight arms, no bendy elbows. Keep the back nice and flat, core engaged in the middle. And you're simply going to fly the arms up to the middle, tap and then back down again. All the way up and then all the way down. Just like with the triceps, use that positive drive up and that lovely negative drop down to control the weight. Don't let the weight dictate you. You control the weight. Use your breathing. So when you press up, you breathe out and then breathe in on your way down. Keep the weights in line with your chest the whole time. So you're not doing them over your head. As you guys just start to feel it really pulling through your chest muscles, your pec muscles on the front. Excellent. Okay, next up we're going to keep the little, the small weights in your hands. You're going to sit yourself up. Bicep curls from the floor. Elbows tucked in nice and close to your body. Weights nice and close to the, onto the floor, just waiting to go. 
And all you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your weight up to your shoulder and then back down again. Again, don't wanna hear the weight smash into the floor, control that weight is the important part of this. Okay, three, two, one, off we go. It's all the way up and down. So you can do it hammer, car hammer curl style if you want. So that's one arm up at a time. Variation, so you can really focus on the one arm or you can do both at the same time, just to keep it moving. Most important thing is if you do both arms just like this, activate that core, no swinging bodies, keep everything nice and fluid. By all means, you can mix it up. So you can go back to your hammer curls halfway through if you need to, up and down. That's it. Let's keep that going, guys. Coming into the last 10 seconds now. Start feeling it in the biceps just that little bit. Perfect. Okay, you're not going to leave the little weight at weights anymore. We're going to need some heavier objects. So you're going to need your step, your higher and your heavier object. So mine's a five kg dumbbell, but whichever your fancy you choose. Keep your back nice and flat, box shape position, you're gonna do a bent over row. So you're trying to bring your arm up, elbow back as far as you can behind you. Most importantly, keep breathing, all the way through. That's it. Keep that going the whole time. Of course, as you'll notice, I'm just doing it with one arm at the moment. 30 seconds, you're just going to switch hands and do exactly the same with the other arm. Just keep an eye on your timer. That's it, guys, just keep that going. Okay, there's 30 seconds to switch to the other side and continue till you hear that air horn. Nice solid press, core engaged the whole time. The more you can engage the core, the stronger it will become. Perfect. Okay, next up, we're going for a prone overhead row. Now you're not gonna need the objects initially to start with this one. We're just gonna push all our weights out of the way. Hands are gonna go out in front, head down every single time. Then we're gonna lift up, arms go back behind you, and then bring them back around. All the way up, behind you, and down. It's almost like butterfly in the pool. It's important to breathe in as you come up, out as you go down. Just keep it nice and smooth all the way through. Quality rather than the quantity of reps. Okay, and we're going to finish off with some military overhead presses. You need your heavier object again. You're going to hold it, two hands from the chest. You can position your feet however you like. Cross legs fine. When the timer kicks in, you're just going to press it nice and high up above your head, straight lock out the arms and back down to the chest. Again, you can focus with your breathing. As you push it up, take a nice big deep breath in, use your lungs to help lift the weight.
more rest there, guys. Well done. 20 seconds left. Of course, if you want to make these exercises harder in the future, just pick heavier weights. Contract the muscles harder. Engage other muscles. If you can get secondary muscles working as well, you're going to help in the long run. Perfect. Okay, you can rest your weight down. And that's your second, that's your 10 minutes over. Hope you enjoyed that one. Be a bit here and here in your back. See you next time. See you guys.